Now an update to a very personal story for us here at CARE 11 about our friend and co-worker Randy Shaver. Back in August, he shared with all of us that he is fighting cancer again, this time prostate cancer. He vowed to beat it and go two for two. Since then, many of you have reached out to show your support and to ask how he's doing. So we sat down to talk about it. So let's talk about your choice in treatment. Mm -hmm. Because initially you thought you were going to have surgery. I was planning on it. What changed your mind? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, first of all, I thought I knew, I have, I've had friends go through prostate cancer. I, I thought I knew what they were going through. I had no idea. This is a totally different thing. It's extremely personal for men. And it's why I'm sure most men never talk about it. Um, and it's not necessarily the cancer, it's the side effects of the treatments that you go through that affect your personal life. And that's what makes it difficult. And so um, I was set up to do surgery, um, full steam ahead. And then the more I got into learning about other things that were out there, talked to a lot of doctors, get some opinions, and finally landed on hormone radiation. It's just the best for me. Uh, I can tell you that I've had some hot flashes because this hormone turns off my testosterone, which in essence kills the cancer, so it's a great thing. Um, but it also basically um, turns my uh, system into a menopausal woman. And so I'm starting to feel those effects. I just have to ask, because you battled this so valiantly 20 years ago. Yeah. You had just celebrated 20 years being cancer-free. How well, ironic is that? Well, how did you deal with that emotionally? You were really angry I, at I first. I was angry. I, I blame was, you. I was ticked. You know, because I just, I mean, I knew it was a possibility only because we've been tracking my PSA. But in the back of my mind, I kept saying to myself, no, nah, I'm fine. This is, this is nothing. This is going to be nothing. So now finding out that it's an aggressive form and... It does seem incredibly unfair. I've come to grips with it now. I, okay, you know, we'll move forward. We'll be fine. Last time you went through this... I think there are people that would say you came to work when you probably should not. Oh, my have wife come would tell you that. To work. Oh, yes, my wife. We're, we're my, getting to Roseanne. How did you know? My my wife has a, a great quote where she said, "I, I wanted to lay down in the driveway so they couldn't leave the garage." Are you going to make her lay down in the driveway no. this time? <laughs> no, because this is different now. You know, this but one. It is going to wear you out. It is, and I'll just have to, you know, pace myself and. You know, shoulder more here, load over to you. So on, uh, I want you to say, <laughs> while cameras are rolling, when my wife, Roseanne, says I should stay home no, and rest, no. I shall stay home and rest. Well, uh, I, I will do my best to figure that part out when we get there. Trying, Roseanne. <laughs> uh, I'll be fine. Two for two. Two for two. Got to be two for two. You know, too much to do. And you have done so much. I mean, since the diagnosis even, you've raised so much money, mm. even more money for cancer research. Um, just Your son's gotten married. I yeah, well, before that interview was done before Ryan got married right. a week or so ago. Right. So right. yeah, so much to look forward to. Yep, but so much left to do. Yeah. I mean, I start radiation next week, hopefully, mm -hmm. and uh, that's mm. like a five, six week process. And my hope is by March, I can put this all behind me and be done. Yep. So let's hope. That's right. the case. And our yeah. hope is you'll take the time when you need it. Yeah. All right. We love you, bud. Thanks. Appreciate so it. So there you go, everybody. Who's there asking, it is. How is Randy? There mm. we go. There's the <laughs> answer. All right. No